one thing is is that when you find out it's a rented property say oh okay no not a problem you went back into the hvac i want to know okay well how much are you getting for rent over there I, what I want to go over is um, I want to first off see how do you have your your mic. Is it is it really close to you, your mouth? I think it's not really. Um, yeah, hey, what Patrick. do you think? Hey Patrick. <laughs> hey, good morning. So, hey, um, so try to bring in your mic out a little bit further. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because the thing is, is that we have, and I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show you today on, on here, on some of the calls. It's like when you you're doing good. So, um, but that first, uh, it, it seems really, really loud. Okay, oh. from the customer. So if you're listening, listen. I want you to listen to these recordings. Mm -hmm and compare how their voice is to how your voice is okay yeah sure yeah i'll do that mm -hmm. hello hi there i would like to speak with rebecca uh who is speaking uh, my name is angel and i'm actually calling in regards to your property at mercer Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm okay. because uh, we're actually uh, buying properties in a neighborhood, so we've thought that you would be interested in. Okay, so it looks like mm -hmm. in the beginning you're really loud, and then you tone down a little bit. But if you look over here, see these spikes over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Excuse yeah. Me? Okay, that's when you're talking. Oh. So so just imagine somebody's on the phone and they hear that and they're like they they're gonna want to get off the phone as soon as possible. Okay. So um you're you're doing good as far as asking the right questions. So um I like how it goes. The we still have to figure out the motivation. Um maybe it's the list that we're doing. I'm gonna try to figure out, see what we can do about that but um you know if they're just saying well i just want to see what you offer make sure you're mm -hmm. putting that in the notes so that we can i uh, so that i can properly assess that okay okay does that does that make sense all right yeah yeah so um so i don't know do you have a volume on your mic on your microphone, on your computer, or anything like that? Yeah, it has. Uh huh. Okay, so try turning that volume down a little bit. All right. I think the only setting is for a speaker, and um, yeah, I think just the volume of you know the headset that I. Yeah, not with a with a microphone. Okay. Yeah. So there should be a, a a setting for your your microphone. If there's not, try bringing the microphone a little bit further away from you, from your mouth. Okay. Yeah. So just kind of like, I don't know how how well you can hear me now. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you okay. Okay. So it doesn't have to be like this. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It yeah, can yeah. Be, it can be a little bit over. Sometimes when I'm making calls, I actually just put it up here and I actually I, I put a little foam on here so it doesn't get like a <laughs> when I'm mm. when I'm breathing. So I, I put it up a little bit, you know. Uh, how about that? How about that? I uh, that sounds a little bit better. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I'll just I want put you it, like go go into your intro for me. All right. Hello, I would like to speak with Randy. 
much better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, much better. Okay. All right. I know okay. it feels weird because it's like right at your nose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, feels yeah. weird. But yeah. <laughs> it, it, do the sound of my, here, listen to the sound of my voice. Hi, my name is Randy Steadwell. How are you doing today? Hi, my name is Randy Steadwell. How are you doing today? My voice was the same value. Yeah. Okay. It, it really makes a difference. Uh -huh. Right. So think of it if you're getting a call out of the blue some think of it on their end and what they're they're thinking about doing okay they hear that and they're like i don't care who you are i want to get off the phone um, yeah okay now we're going to come into a few different areas where um there's are some times where you cut out i don't know if it's because of internet connection or not or or what that might be so um, let's try to make sure you have a, a good internet connection. Okay. Okay. So, um, and kind of go from there. If you do have internet problems, let us, let us know. Well, I'd rather you stop instead of cutting out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yes, of course. So, um, but we'll go through some of these calls and I will, I uh, will learn from them. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'll bring this back here. Uh, who's speaking? Uh, my name is Angel, and I'm actually calling in regards to your property at Mercer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm reaching okay. out to you because uh, we're actually uh, buying properties in the neighborhood, so we've thought that you might be interested in selling yours as well. Okay, how much are you looking to buy it for? Uh, for us to um, like have an offer for you, I'm uh, going to ask you specific questions about the property. So we'll know how much we could offer you. This will be okay. very good. Okay, I'm not sure I'm comfortable answering questions, but I'll but go ahead shoot. All right, yeah. Um, yeah. To start off, um, I would like to ask the condition of the property, like the kitchen and the bathroom. Um, excellent. It's up. It's kept. Okay. It's been uh, like, uh, when was the last time that you made a uh, remodeling with the kitchen and the bathroom? Um. Mm. Mm, not not too recently, but the, but I but it's in it's in very good condition. Okay, all right, I see. I can't uh, give you like, a date, uh, but... It's okay. Is it like within this month? Well, I mean, a, a, a total remodel. No, it's it's it has never been remodeled, but it has been kept in in excellent condition. Mm, I see. All right, let me just take note. Okay. How about the uh, the roof and the HVAC? Uh, as good as far as I know. I I currently rent the house, and I don't mm. live there. So, um, and I have another. It's, it's an. Oh, you, you know. mean that it's rented? Yes. Okay, I see. All right, thank you so much for that. And um, yeah. Uh, do, uh, do you have like any updates with the HVAC? Uh, with the uh, not that I can think of right now. I'm sure they have, mm. uh, but but so, so why are you why are you reaching out to me? Because uh, I'm, I, I haven't listed it for sale. I haven't even thought about selling it. So how did you get my phone number and 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 mm. uh, how, how did all this yeah. come about? Why, why would you reach out to me? Yeah, uh, because uh, I actually have a client. I, I mean, I actually have a partner who is an investor, and we're actually buying properties in the neighborhood. So uh, we have this list of uh, phone numbers in the neighborhood. So we, that's why we're trying to, you know, reach out to you to see if you might be interested. So let me ask you as well. Um, aside me calling you right now, um, may you know the reason why would you consider selling? Um, I really haven't considered selling. That's why I'm asking. You have I'm just not? curious as to what you. Okay, so, um, I'll just stop her there for a moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I she was kind of hostile, which is good. I mean, you handled it very, very well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, one thing is, is that when you find out it's a rented property, say, oh, okay, no, not a problem. You went back into the HVAC. I want to know, okay, well, how much are you getting for rent over there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Because I, you know, 
Oh, oh yeah. If it's, uh, if I don't want to, uh, cause she's probably not going to tell you how much she's going to get for rent, but, um, well, what, what is the, your neighbors getting for rent over there? What, what's the neighborhood going for, you know, for that type of property? So, um, something similar like that. I, and then she'll, we'll listen to it in a, in, in a minute or we'll listen to the rest now, but I'll, uh, I have one more point I want to show you. You would, I'm not, I'm yeah. not interested in selling, but oh, okay. I'm just curious as to what you would offer, what you would oh, offer okay. me if, if you're, if you're reaching out to me. Mm. All right. Yeah, I, I have so a few years of the offer and, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So regarding for that, um, just in case if, you know, we could come up to a uh, better offer that, uh, we, we will both agree. Um, uh, how soon you would be willing to sell? Is 30 days okay? Uh, no, I have a renter in there. I'd, I'd have to give him notice. Mm, all right, I see. Um, let me take note. Okay, so right there is kind of where I wanted to interject my point. When she says that, she's thinking that she has to have it vacant. Okay? So I want you to reiterate that hey we we do buy properties with uh with tenants uh in there and we'll we'll sometimes keep the existing tenant okay so that's one note to know that she doesn't like because she's thinking well i'm trying to protect the tenant okay that's what she's thinking at this moment and she's like, I'm, I'm going to think of the tenant first, no matter what. And that's okay. Say, hey, that, that's not a problem. We, we, we buy properties with tenants in them. As long as, you know, I, I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in mute. So, yeah. Um, so, we're, we're buying pro properties as is. And um, if uh, she's worried about the tenants, we'll just mention that we can still buy properties with a tenant renting on it <laughs> yes correct yeah okay all right all right so okay. um let me finish this up a little all right bit. so uh, do you have like an asking price for this um a uh, hundred a hundred all right mm -hmm. let me take note okay so um all right, let me just uh, check on everything in here. I, mean, I just want to make sure that you are actually uh, the owner of the property, right? Uh, which is 34866 Mercer. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we will follow up um, in 24 hours and my partner Randy will contact you to see uh, what your house qualifies for. So um, I just want to verify as well the best callback number. Is it the one that uh, you're currently using now, ending 197? Six. That's fine, yes. All right, I see. So thank you so much, uh, Rebecca, for providing all of these details. Um, my partner will contact you within 24 hours. So please keep your lines open. All right? All right, thank you. Okay, so that was a good call um, with just a few minor things to change. I mean, I think it was good. Um, on the rest of the call, is it's, you were still going to get the loudness. You're going to hear it, but... Um, I think how you handled her is, is relatively well. So um, just remember that, yeah, she was very protective of the, the tenants. So how you get about that is um, what, you know, hey, we do buy properties with our tenants already in them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. I, th th it's not the first time I've heard that. So that's the reason why I bring that up. Bring that up. Okay. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, sure. All right. So we'll go on to the next one. Hello? Hi there. I would like to speak with Cheryl. Speaking. Hi, uh, my name is Angel, and I'm actually calling in regards to your property at um, East Bay Drive. No, um, it's not for sale. I see. Now, unless you want to give me four hundred thousand dollars for it, 
Oh, I see. So, uh, you mean that uh, you mu that would be your asking price? Is that right? Yeah, it could be. Could be more. Mm -hmm. But it's been right. a rental and a continuing continuing re uh, rental mm -hmm. for uh, twenty years now. Mm, right I see. All right. Um, if it's okay with you, Cheryl, I just need to ask you specific questions about a property. So, of course, uh, we can uh, send you an offer as well. And um, aside from the asking price that you are providing, we will know how much we can offer you. This will be very quick. No, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready. I mean, not at this time. I mean, you're more than welcome to give a call back at, at another time. But right now, I mean, I just walked in the mm -hmm. door and I'm, I'm just got back from the pool and. Um, oh. You know, so, you know, uh, we could send you an offer within today. Would it be okay? What? I think that would be fine. No, it's, yeah, um, no, I just need to ask you. So, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, somehow she already, like, changed her mind. So... Yeah, she kind of changed her mind a little bit, but the thing is, is that um, she is, you are breaking up a little bit, oh. okay, and she didn't understand, but the thing is, you kept going, okay, $400,000, did you look on Zillow price for that? Not yet, not yet, um, okay. because actually, like, yeah, checking after, like, I take notes, so uh, after that, I, I, I check Zillow. And the thing is, um, maybe I, I, I kept on going on because I didn't know, or, may yeah, mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, I didn't know that I was breaking up. No, and that's perfectly fine. I understand you're not knowing that you're breaking up. Yeah. What I'm getting at is, is as soon as she said 400000 you kept going, kept going, I, I would look on Zillow, see, okay, is that a reasonable number? Is that not, is it, like, if okay. it's worth 200000 and she's asking 400000 she would, in her tone of voice, she was being very sarcastic. Oh, okay, I see. If you, if you understand that. All right. So, she's like, well, if you give me 400000 then maybe, I don't know, it might even be more. Mm. You know, she's not all interested right. in selling at all. Okay. Oh, okay. So you mean that for 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 me to know? Um. So every time that they will provide their asking price, I should like always compare it to Zillow. Is that what you mean? I want you to read the tone of voice of the person. If you mm -hmm. notice that, you can keep going until and while you're keep going, you're looking up the price. You look on Zillow, and, and if it's under what the Zillow price is, or then you can keep going. If it's relatively, if it's relatively close to the Zillow price, then you can still keep going. Just note that. Okay. Um, if it's way and above and outrageous, like there's no point of going further. Just try to get off the call as fast as possible. So oh, yeah. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so that's kind of the reason why I, I'm bringing that up. Like, you know, it's, you got to read the tone of, uh, you're doing enough of these calls that you can, you, you should be able to understand the tone of voice of somebody. Um, like, like they're, whether they're being sarcastic or whether they're not. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, let's continue going. Hey. I'm sorry. It's I, you know it's on guarantee. Um, yeah, I understand. Um, you know, we just wanted to uh, just in case if we could come come up to a, a nice offer, we could agree uh, with you know the asking price that you are providing. So we will send you an offer as soon as possible. So I just need to ask you uh, simple questions like the condition of the property. How was it? It's in, it's in very good condition. It has true hardwood floors in it. It has plantation shutters throughout uh, two thirds of the house. It has a basement. Did you? Basement. Two. 
So you went on, you handled this call very, like throughout the rest of the call, it was, it was mm -hmm. okay. The point I'm getting at is, is this is a nine minute call. Okay. In my opinion, this was a wasted call. Oh yeah. I think I remember this call. Yeah. I think like she was like providing like a lot of information that are yep. really unnecessary and throughout the call, I was also like observing her. And then later on, I have realized that no, she's really not interested. So I'm really right. sorry that I, I figured it out very late. I was actually figuring yep. it out if I was listening to her, if she's really interested because she's like maybe oversharing. <laughs> no yeah. problem. So this is, so I'll give you a, a, a line if you want to take it down that if, uh -huh. if this is happening here, I, I want you to utilize this. Okay. Okay. Oh, say, oh, it sounds like it's in a very, very well condition. And if you do decide it, you're probably going to want to get top dollar, right? You know, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we're investors, you know, and unfortunately we got to be able to make a little bit of money as well. So, I mean, it sounds like it's just not going to be right for us. We're not, we're not real estate agents. So we don't, we don't put them up on the market. We're not calling for that reason. So, um, but do you have any other properties that might be, um, a little bit more, uh, lived in condition? Maybe we can get, you know, uh, something that we can help you out and that you're looking to sell. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. So, um, take that down. That that's something to be able to, if in the beginning you're starting to see this. Okay. That's something mm -hmm. how you can get, just get off the call. Okay. okay. So basically I'll just try to, to see if she has another property. Exactly. You always ask, okay. you always ask that question, no matter what. Okay. Cause you never know. They could, I <laughs> they mean, they have this as a, yeah, yeah. they have, they have this as a rental and they could own four or five, you know, crappy rentals mm -hmm. somewhere else, you know, you never know. So, um, so there, yeah. there's that, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to, like, like I said, I'm not going to go through the rest of this call because it, to, in my opinion, it was a wasted call. So, um, you know, I, I even couldn't get a hold of her afterwards. So like, she's not answering the phone. So, but mm. it is what it is. So, um, with that being said, let's look at, um, this one was from yesterday's call. Hi there, I would like to speak with Celine. Hello. Hi there, um, I would like to speak Hello. with Celine. Who? Um, may I speak with Pauline? Speak yeah. Hi, Pauline. Um, my name is Angel, and I'm actually calling in regards to your property at Palmer Drive. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm reaching out to you to see if you've thought about selling it because we're actually buying properties in the area right now. Mm, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, do you have any other property that you might be interested in selling? So we'll check how much we could offer you. How much would you try to offer me for my property? Uh, for us to know, Pauline, uh, the, I mean, uh, on how much we could offer you, can I ask you... Um, some questions about a property. This will only take like a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you see the resemblance in that? In that call? Um, maybe I was just going too fast. Nope. Um, the resemblance of <clears throat> she's just interested in an offer. She's just not. She's not really interested in selling. She's just interested in knowing what our offer would be. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, That's my as well. That. Yeah. It's okay. I followed up with her today. Um, 
I gave her an offer. She said, no, I said, okay. So, you know, that's all right. Mm -hmm. But, um, this is where, okay. When she comes back and says, oh, well, what would you be offer? You know, I guess there's not really a way to get around that. It's, I mean, there's not really a way to get around that, but it's um, just understanding that I want you to put that in the notes, at least. She's just looking for an offer. She doesn't know. I liked how you pushed for, hey, what are you looking for to try to get the price out of her? But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so you just be as quick as possible on it. That's all. Okay. So, all right. I see. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think really, uh, that's going to be about it today. Okay. Uh, do you have any specific questions? Um, and then for now, but um, I guess um, yeah, I I think I I would like to take this opportunity to to discuss as well, you know, the challenges mm -hmm. that I am facing, or you know, this is just sure. you know with the observation that I have uh, throughout. Uh, yes, I mean, please do. I mean, with uh, yeah, <laughs> since um this, I think that this last week is really slow for me since. I mm -hmm. only have like few few leads, so I mm -hmm. guess um, well, that's so why I have mentioned uh, to you. I mean, when I I'm ending the call, that uh, the, the the challenges that I am facing is some of the contacts are uh, I of uh, I often being routed to business lines instead of like direct contacts, but I guess it's normal, yeah. right? Because of course we're called. <laughs> Yes, it is normal. If you do end up getting a business line, that's perfectly normal. Just get off the phone as fast as possible. Say, oh, sorry, we, we got the wrong mm -hmm. number. Okay, it looks like we got the wrong number. Yeah. Okay. I, had... I see. Because yeah, I would like to ask if you want me to um, like uh, find that specific person. Right. Um, if it's like an office or something like that then just get off the phone honestly um say it's wrong mm. number just put it in as wrong number okay so if it's a um yeah i mean honestly with that being said just in any of them it just put it as wrong number so because we shouldn't okay. be calling business lines um mm -hmm. so now yeah i mean for any business like that, it's going to be the wrong number. So, all right. Mm -hmm. So okay. just, just continue right, yeah, on. And, Thank you. Yeah. So let's try to try to make sure your internet connection is pretty well as well. Pretty good. That's my biggest concern with that. Um, uh, just for cutting in and out, you know, uh, listen to them. A little bit more listen to their tone listen to be cognizant be uh, understand whether if they're saying huh what did you say sorry you're breaking up just just repeat yourself and understand that okay even though you don't you can't see whether you're cutting in and out you can at least listen to what they're saying okay yeah yeah okay so utilize that as feedback and kind of go from there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sure. So. <laughs> there was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view.